Welcome everyone to our final theme park on our stop across the different locations here in Southern California. This is Universal Hollywood. It's my first time. Yeah, hey, not every day you get to visit a new Universal Park. Ah, uh, that is very true. Actually, your first time visiting like a new Universal Park, right? Like outside of the Orlando yes. ones. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Okay. I know, right? So this is there. There's a lot of uh, attractions that you're familiar with, but we also got some new stuff. Yes, you know? I mean obviously we have Super Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. We have Super Life of Pets. Yep. Water World. Yeah. And of course the Studio Tour. Can't forget that. That's pretty. Uh, that too. Super fun. So I can't even think. I'm so tired. We literally rode Disney last <laughs> yeah. night and we didn't go to bed till after two in the morning. Oh, I'm exhausted. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 9 a.m. and it took an hour and a half here, to get here. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, let's go on into the park though. All right, we made it inside. First thing you'll see is they actually have an entire store here for Super Nintendo. We have a full separate video already up on this channel of Super Nintendo World where we go through the entire land, talk about the ride and everything. So go check that out if you want Nintendo stuff. This is just gonna focus on the rest of Universal Hollywood. As we made it down here at the end of their uh, like main street, you can see two sound stages right here. That's what's gonna be leaving for the Fast and Furious coaster. So there should be a big like station and a plaza right here. For a family coaster, right? Uh, we're family here at Fast and Furious. I hate you for that joke. So we're heading towards the lower lot. Not for Nintendo, but because Jurassic World The Ride is a five minute wait, which is really short for that. Isn't this so weird? You go down like five escalators. I know. This is number one. <laughs> it reminds me of like a Simpsons episode where they're like making fun of, I think they're actually making fun of Disney and they have to go up like several elevator or escalators to get to the park and then like five other means of transportation. There you can see the tram for the studio tour and a beautiful golf course. I believe this is Burbank. It's uh, very scenic. And look, we got an ad for the Mario Bros. movie. All right, there it is. There's our view. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is way different than last time I was here. All right, here we are. And sure enough, it's a five minute wait. So here at Universal Hollywood, there is not a Jurassic themed section. It's just the one ride. I don't think I realized that. I think I thought it was like part of a light. Yeah, but it's it's still like cool. Like it's a uh, very much architecturally still in that style. We literally walked onto this. We're about to do row number four. So we don't hopefully get soaked. First ride of the day, we just got off Jurassic World the ride. And I'm dry. Yeah, no, we didn't even get wet. It was, it was totally fine. But uh, I had done that a couple of years ago, but it was before they did the had the big working like animatronic with the uh, Endowment Rex. It what was, was there before? It was like it was still there, but it didn't like it didn't walk be. out oh, and okay. do the whole like it, it was just so wildly impressive. Yeah, that was very very cool. Yeah, uh, well, very well done attraction, especially since it's like you know it was the original Jurassic Park River Adventure. And then they just like a lot of similarities but I think yeah. I like this one better oh sure. well absolutely yeah the updates are just absolutely fantastic so the with the most source is really cool mm -hmm. yeah yeah just very very brilliant attraction I would I would love to see that come to islands that is a big dinosaur wow with each other they knew exactly what to do it's fascinating we could ever really understand that you just left them alone nope Good move. Human shields are really effective against dinosaurs. I am impressed at the number of Super Nintendo World things outside of the land. Like this is another entire store. This is a drink stand. So look, they have a uh, fruity cream sodas. There's a uh, Mario Kart you can get. Uh, Superstar. Those are oh, those are popcorn buckets. Of course they are. Uh, and then they have a uh, collectible drink bottles that are sold out right now. But yeah, all this is literally right next to Jurassic World The Ride. And Chase right here is modeling for us the uh, Mario Kart popcorn bucket. So... Where does the popcorn in, go? In the trunk. That's it? That's, That's like one handful for me. 
Gone. Done. $43. <laughs> $43. Does not include popcorn. <laughs> Next right up, Revenge of the Mummy. I'm excited to like, see how this compares. I heard it's different. It is different. <laughs> Two rides there on Revenge of the Mummy. I forgot how good that ride is. Yeah. It's like, again, it's like familiar, but not. It's like, that's the whole running gag here of like all these parks that we have yep. a counterpart in Orlando. It's really fun. I, again, I think I like these even oh, um, okay. for different reasons. So I think the coaster, like the actual roller coaster portion of this ride is worlds better. It's, than it's, it's better on this one. It's so much better. It's longer. It has a proper backward section. Sorry if you don't want spoilers. The backward section is way better on but this like, one. The one in Orlando is pathetic. I think the show scenes in Orlando are better. Like the opening scene all of the mummies like come up and everything yes. like, it's like a pop scare and the fake out ending where they're like thank you so much uh, we hope you enjoyed your ride yeah it's and then amazing. it's like yeah. forfeit your soul like yeah. I like that I think that's the best part of the ride and they don't have that on this one so yeah. it's like if I could take the coaster portion of this and put it on like the show scenes of the one in Orlando I think it'd be like one effect that this ride has is uh, right before it goes backwards, like all the bugs are coming at you and they shoot little pockets of like air at your well, feet. Well, that used to be feels, in Orlando, I think. Yeah, it feels like the bugs. It's so clever. It is very clever. So I, I love that. Uh, uh, fan, fantastic roller coaster. Yeah, this park is not really known for roller coasters, but that, one, that one's good. Megatron's also doing meet and greets out here. That's a big dude. One ride we're going to be skipping here at Universal Hollywood is for Bin Journey, because we've done it like a million times. But uh, yeah, this is Deja Vu, right? Yeah, this is, is. You've been here before, so wait, let's wait. go ride Hagrid's. Where's Hagrid's? There's Hagrid's. Oh, that's weird. That's it. Yeah, you know, Orlando just got rid of their hey, donkey meet and greet, and this donkey actually place. looks like I donkey. I can't believe now that I'm seeing a person that I never realized how awful Orlando's. Oh, donkey. it's so bad. It's oh night and day. God. This actually looks like donkey. Really it's great. It looks oh so God. good. The one in Orlando is so disturbing. Unlike Orlando's, Universal Hollywood's Despicable Me area actually makes sense and is really good. Because look, it's Gru's house in an actual street. Well, yeah, because ours is like... It's just dropped the, down. Yeah, it's like... Yeah. The, well, originally it's just the one ride and there's like a Shrek ride here and the Despicable Me ride here. But now it's going to be like a whole Minions area as the entrance. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not, not, not going to... it's park, so I don't understand. Yeah, really and it's literally all just in sound stages. These are like actual, like, buildings. They have an entire Super Silly Funland. Oh my gosh. They have a lot of walk-around characters out and about. I like it. It is, in fact, very silly. As is fun. They couldn't afford a roller coaster, so they just drew one. That right there is just a drop-off, because we're on the edge of a cliff, essentially, right now. So, uh, if that wall weren't there, you just, like, kind of drop down. Why have I never noticed this before? This is so good. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. The trash cans! It's a frog. Secret Life of Pets off the leash is our next attraction. It's got a 30 minute wait. We actually have to wait outside the queue first. When you walk in, you enter a building uh, apartment complex. Yeah. Talking about all the different pets. Oh, hey. This one's missing because he's right over there in an elevator. Oh, <laughs> I love an elevator. We're in an apartment now and there's a dog getting his back scratched by a blender. That's awesome. Honestly, I'm doing my life. This really just feels wrong. I feel like we're all just in someone's house. Maybe I could adopt one. Joe, I love you, man, but you are barely house trained yourself. I keep going this way. I'm going to sneak through the building and storage here. If anyone discovers you, it's all over. But don't worry, everyone will be looking at me. Secret Life of Pets is freaking adorable. That was the cutest ride ever! Oh wow. my god. The amount of animals 
animatronics in there is amazing. Oh yeah, I, I have no idea how many there are, but like, I thought I have a record, right? Like of most animatronics. Dude, there's or so many move like the, everywhere you look. It all blends together and makes the scene look very lively. And they all have their own personalities, and like they're all cute, and like it's a fun little story. You know, decently long it. ride. Um, it was really long. A lot to it. So you're a puppy, and you're on your way to get adopted, and at the end, like a family picks you out. Yeah, it wouldn't be a visit to Universal Hollywood without doing the legendary studio tour. Officially backstage and right here is the backside of Nintendo. It's a lot prettier the front. I know. <laughs> These are all used in Jurassic Park. This one right here is in The Lost World. It was dangling over a cliff. Two T-Rexes were going at it because there was a baby inside. We saw this movie. We totally saw that movie. It was a weird movie. Like, yeah. I wow. I didn't know that they still had the set here. A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso experience. Anyway, behind this hollywood We just wrapped the world famous studio tour, although we didn't get to see as many sets as usual because they were doing some filming, so um, naturally we had to be quiet and kind of skipped around a section. But yeah, we did see some uh, Christmas sets, like decorations on the houses and stuff. Yeah. So. I had, Who knows? Probably a Hallmark movie. I right? had no idea that I was going to be forced against my will to ride Fast and Furious. Oh yeah! <laughs> I did. I thought it was funny that they had Kong though. People reacted mm -hmm. a lot more than they do in uh, like at Universal Orlando. People were like totally freaked mm. out. Like, that's so funny. It's cool because it's like a very long experience. You get to see some yeah. like practical sets, and then you get to learn about like how some of the effects are done, and then yes. you get to actually like do some literal rides. They then turn into actual full-on rides. It's yeah. down in Orlando. Yeah, um, it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I, I like long experiences like that. Um, and I love anything behind the scenes of entertainment. I am like all about. Yeah. All about that stuff. And it was extra fun because I did Universal Studios Orlando like back in the day. And I got to do like Earthquake, which is like an old ride there. And they basically do the same simulation as that ride on the studio tour. And I was like, oh my gosh. Nostalgia. So nostalgic. I really enjoyed it though. That was so much fun. Highly recommend. Alright, so it's now night and we're done with our day here at Universal Hollywood. So, um, we've been doing a lot all over, especially some stuff with Nintendo. If you haven't seen that video, it's already out on YouTube, so go check that out. Uh, we got to do Mario Kart, eat at the Told Stew Cafe, um, so a lot of fun there. But uh, overall, what were your first impressions of Universal Hollywood? I like that it's distinctly different from the one in Orlando. It has some, like, Secret League of Life of Pets, I absolutely adore. I think that, I, I would love to see that come to Orlando. I know it's not gonna happen. Oh my God, this music is so loud. I know, but <laughs> I, I hope, that, I do hope that Secret, yes. Secret Life of Pets comes. Yeah, it's, it's so, I don't know, it's just so cute. It made me really happy, but yeah. No, I really like this park. I wish that we had more time. Um, we, you know, we did Super Nintendo in the same day, and it kind of like messed things up because we got evacuated from like the whole land, 
line and that was like an over an hour wasted and then we had to get in line again and wait for another hundred minutes. So it so means like, we didn't get to do like water work. Yeah, that one is making me a little sad. I, yeah. I wish we had another day, but I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, which is funny because I, I think before this, I would tell you, no, you only need one day here at Universal Hollywood. But like, I don't know, with them opening from nine till seven and like with how busy Nintendo is, I would say you could definitely do two days here. Yeah. Like for your first time, if you're trying to do everything, we didn't do Transformers, we didn't do uh, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Which, that we have at home. Yeah, yeah, so that's not as big of a deal, but yeah. um, still, still crazy. But I'm glad that you like this park. Stop. I think it's a lot of fun. I think that this park doesn't get talked about enough. Uh, the main thing they're missing is a big roller coaster, which, you know, hopefully we don't have to wait that much longer for that. Coming soon. Yeah, exactly. So, all right, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and we'll see you next time.